look at the list of these square numbers well these are the perfect squares of the numbers from 1 to 10 you can see 1 square gives us 1 2 square 4 similarly 3 till 10 you get these squares now look at the unit digits of these squares what do you see well we can see that 1 is present there 4 is there 9 is there then look at the unit digits 6 5 again 6 then again 9 4 1 and 0 so only 0 1 4 5 6 and 9 these are the units digits present in these squares so we can say that all the square numbers if they are perfect squares they will have this digits only in their units digit well how can i say that you know that maths has numbers 0 to 9 and all the other numbers are combinations of these numbers so if 1 square gives us 1 2 square gives us 4 3 square gives us 9 4 square gives us 16 5 square gives us 25 6 square gives us 36 7 square gives us 49 8 square gives us 64 9 square gives us 81 and 0 may be represented by 10 square here 10 square gives us 100 so any combination of these number which may have any of these numbers in the units digit will have these digits only in their unit digits their square numbers will have these digits only in their unit digits well let's check with other numbers and see whether what i am saying is correct or not see after 10 we have done 11 to 20 square here what do you see look at them again the same unit digits we are getting here are here the same so what i was saying is true here you can see look at other digits also well again you are getting the same see we have highlighted this for you so what can we conclude if a number is a perfect square it must have 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 in its units digit well does that mean that if any number is having 2 3 7 or 8 that is the remaining numbers in its unit digits it is not a square well you are absolutely correct only the numbers having these digits in the unit digits can be a perfect square otherwise having 2 3 7 or 8 in the units digit tells us directly that it is not a perfect square so i can say none of the squares end with 2 3 7 and 8 so just looking at a number can tell you whether it is a perfect square or not see the unit digit it is 8 and just now we have seen that no square number ends with 2 3 7 or 8 so you don't have to take out the square root of this number so large numbers like this if they have 2 3 7 or 8 in the unit digit you can directly answer that it is not a perfect square so interesting isn't it So if a number ends in 0 1 4 6 or 9 then must it be a square number that is what i said well i said that if a number is a perfect square it will have any of these digits in its unit digit but if any number it ends with 0 1 4 6 or 9 then is it compulsorily a square number well check for 19 19 has the last digit or the units digit as 9 see so this should be a square number well you can say that 4 square is 16 and 5 square is 25 so there is no natural number in between 4 and 5 so how can 19 be a square number check is 19 present no so we know that 19 is not a perfect square so we can say that if a number ends in 0 1 4 6 or 9 just like 19 then it is not necessarily a square number 
what we are saying is if a number is a perfect square or a square number then it will end with the digits 0 1 4 6 or 9 in the units place for example let's check 49 but 19 was not a square number but 49 this has 9 in the units digit and you know that 49 is actually 7 square so 49 is a perfect square so again it is having a digit which is among these in the units place now one more pattern let's see see these are perfect squares you can see that now with these lines that are highlighted can you tell me what pattern we want to show it to you look and see see 1 and 9 look at their squares specifically look at the units digit what do you see well both the squares of 1 and 9 have 1 in their units digit so if a number has 1 or 9 in its unit digit in the unit digit then the square of that number will have 1 in its unit digit as well similarly look at 2 and 8 look at 2 and 8 both are having what 4 in the unit digits of their squares so I can say that if any number ends with 2 or 8 will have the digit 4 in its square that is the square of that number will end in 4 similarly look at 3 and 7 so any number ending with 3 or 7 will have 9 in the unit digits of its square similarly 4 and 6 have 6 and 5 we know 5 square or any number ending in 5 will always have 5 in the unit digits of its square and 0 we know the multiple of 10 that is 10 square 10 cube 10 to the power 4 always ends in 0 so 5 and 0 it is very simple that if a square number say ends with 5 then and you know it is a perfect square then the square root of this will also end in 5 similarly if a number ends with 0 and it is a perfect square then the square root of this will have 0 in its unit digit so now just looking at the pattern can you tell me what will be the ones digit in the squares of these numbers well you know how do we find out the units digit in the square numbers just by looking the, at the unit digits of these numbers look at the pattern and answer this well we know that if a number has 4 or 6 in its unit digit then the square of that number will have 6 in its unit digit so I can say that the square of this number will have 6 in the unit digit or it will end with 6 similarly look at 8 well any number that ends with 8 or ends with 2 their square numbers will have 4 in its unit digit so I can say this number ends in 8 so its square will have 4 in the units digit look 4 always has 6 in the unit digit and 8 always has 4 in the unit digit their square numbers will always end in these digits so now you're clear with no square number ends in 2, 3, 7 or 8. Till now you have learned how to identify the unit digit of a square of a number just by looking at the number itself or the unit digit of the number itself. Now let's go opposite. Here we have given you a square number and just by looking at the unit digit of this square I can tell you what is the square root of this number well this is a very fast method of calculating square roots this method is also known as a procedure of 
Vedic maths. Well, concentrate on this. First of all, look at the unit digit of this number. See, it is 4. So I can say that the square root will have 2 in its unit digit. Well, how did I do that? Square root this last digit, 4. When square rooted, we get 2. We know that root over 4 is 2. So the first step is just look at the units digit and square root it. Now, the next step is subtract this number which you got from 10 and write the answer. Well, 10 minus 2 is 8. Well, these are the two possible ones place of the square root of this number. So what did I do? First of all, look at the units digit and square root it. And then the number which you get, subtract it from 10 and write the answer. So these are the possible two digits which you can get as the unit digit of the square root of this number. Now, look at the second pair of digits. First pair was 24. Now look at the second pair, that is 10. Now this pair will tell you what will be the other digit or the tens digit in the square root. First of all, tell me which is the square or which is the square number that comes just before 10? Well, you can say that 9 is that square number that comes just before 10 or it is less than 10. So square root 9. You get 3. Now write this 3 at both the places. That is, that is as a tens digit of these two numbers. So now you know that 32 or 38, these two are the possible answers as the square roots of 1024. So this is how we calculate two possible answers for 1024. So now you can be sure that square rooting 1024 will either give you 32 or either give you 38. Now how to find out what is the right answer, whether 32 or 38? Well, if you are smart enough, you can find out 35 square very easily. We have told you how to find out 35 square in a very short method. Well, 35 is a multiple of 5. And whenever you have to find out the square of a number that is a multiple of 5, there is a very simple method. You can see, how do we find out 35 square? Just take the number before 5 and multiply it with the next number. So here we are multiplying 3 with the next number 4 in 200 plus 25. This 25 is constant whenever we find out the, mul the square of a number which is multiple of 5. So 3 into 4 gives us 12. 1200 plus 25 is 1225. So you can see 35 square is very very easy to find. So it is 1225. Now compare it with these. Now if 35 square is 1225, then 38 square cannot be less than this. It will always be greater than this. So this option is not valid and we are left with 32. So 32 is the square root of 1024. So this was a very fast method of taking out the square root of 1024. Similarly, find out the square root of the square number 1369. Just in the method I told you. First of all, again, look at the ones digit. Well, first look at this number in pairs. We have made this pair first, that is 69, and the other pair is 13. Now, the unit digit of this pair will tell us about the unit digit of the square root of this number. So, first step is just square root the unit's digit. Square root of 9 is 3. Now, subtract this number from 10. What do you get? 7. Well, 7 and 3 are those digits which when squared, their unit digits will be what? 3 3s are 9 and 7 7 is 49. So both their squares have 9 in their unit digits. So the possibilities here are 3 and 7 for the unit digit of the square root of this number. Now the second pair will tell us about the tenth digit of these two numbers. Look at it, 13. Now. Tell me which is that square which comes just before 13 or is just less than 13. Well, again, 9 
is a square number which is just less than 13. Otherwise, 4 square gives us 16. So 16 is beyond 13. So we cannot take 16. We have to take a number less than 13. So 9 is less than 13. So square root 9, you get 3. So we can say that 33 or 37 is the square root of 1369. Now which answer will be correct? 33 or 37? Again, 35 square will come to our rescue. Find out 35 square using that simple method. Now again, 35 square is 3 into 4, that is the number just before 5 into the next number into 100 plus 25, that is 1225. So now compare this with this number. If 35 square is 1225, then 33 square has to be less than this because 33 is less than 35. So 33 square will be less than 1225. But we are having a number which is larger than or greater than 1225. So this option is not valid. We are left out with 37. So 37 is the square root of 1369.